it doesn't look as though any of the talking, any of the reviews, any of the independent and esteemed reviews that have taken place of both individual trusts and investigations into individual trusts and the overall review from Donna Ockenden, it doesn't look like it's made a jot of difference. Uh, the Care Quality Commission has said maternity failings, that, that's the, the body that investigates the quality of our hospitals and other health um, health um, uh, delivery. They say that failings at uh, the, the hospitals that were deemed to be problematic in the first place are not diminishing but becoming more widespread. And it warns that preventable harm uh, is at risk of becoming normalised. Now, I actually think preventable harm, I think there's widespread evidence, both anecdotal and written down after investigations, that preventable harm is sort of wired into babies being delivered, seems to me. So many women, whenever we talk about this, the, the phone lines just light up because so many women experience not being listened to, experience uh, longer term damage or pain to their body. And so many other people, both out in the world and in the NHS, who they subsequently seek help from, um, act as though, well, it's just one of those things. You know, you've had a baby. You're going to have backache for the rest of your life. You've had a baby. You're going to be incontinent. You've had a baby. Da, da, da. You know, it, it's like when a woman who's menopausal uh, seeks help for that. It's like, well, you're middle-aged. You know, a, a lot of that is running through this. Uh, the idea that because you have been pregnant and had a baby, you can almost expect that your health is going to be diminished as a result of that. Or if not expect it, tolerate it. I, I think that runs through attitudes to being a mother, to giving birth and being pregnant. Uh, the degree to which that exists in the NHS is starting to emerge, but it definitely exists out in the world, doesn't it?